all right let's do this hi guys hello um i'm nadia and this series is called things they didn't teach you about the civil war with your host nadia harris obviously one thing they didn't teach you about during the civil war is the drug quinine quinine was a vital medicine and resource that was used to help soldiers and we will get to why that is now you may be looking at this video and you may be wondering uh what is quinine how does it work why do i look like that well i am going to explain it oh and also i can't explain why you look like that but i can't explain quinine Quinine is a bitter crystalline compound that helped fight against malaria. And this was a big thing during the Civil War era. It was used in this time at first in 1856 by William Henry Perkins, but his synthesis was not successful until 1944. Quinine comes from the bark of chinchona trees. And this dates back all the way to the 1600s where this bark was considered as Jesuit's bark, Cardinal's bark, or sacred bark. In today's time, examples of quinine would be tonic water since tonic water does have an amount of quinine in it. And this is how people ingested quinine back in the Civil War era as well. So drink up! Now, I know I'm talking about quinine. And I keep on saying malaria this, malaria that, ABC123. And some of y'all might not even know what malaria is. And that's okay, because that's why I'm here to describe it. Let's get to it. Malaria is a disease that is caused by a plasmodium parasite. Now it sounds all fancy and stuff, but do you know what carries that parasite? Mosquitoes! <laughs> mosquitoes mosquitoes carry this parasite and they can transfer it to you through their bite um luckily in today's modern times we do have medicine to fight off malaria and vaccines and all that to fight off malaria but back then during the civil war era it was not easy due to the fact that they didn't have modern day medicine and technology to figure this out okay so now we have quinine the drug and malaria the illness okay okay guys so now let's talk about something small this actually segues to another segment but let's let's call this a sub segment so we're gonna talk about malaria in the civil war basically in the civil war between 1861 1865 there were a total of 1 million 316,000 people who had malaria and out of those 1 million 316,000 people 10,000 died now that we have those numbers out the way let's get into some math let's get into some math guys but before we do that um gotta put my readers on kind of blind if you couldn't tell okay so hey guys remember all those numbers i was throwing out you were going to apply them today so the first numbers i said 1861 to 1865 that's four years that's four years okay and on top of that i said 1 million 316 thousand people got it so what we're gonna do just to give you a little clip, a little full on example, we're going to divide that by four. And when we divide that by four, we get a number of 3,000, 
329 329,000 sorry people who had it each year during the civil war okay so now that that's out the way let's look at the number of deaths that happened during that time again we had four years and the number of people that died i said were ten thousand so we're gonna divide that by four and I'll give you a number of 2,500 people that died a year. Now let's go back and analyze and talk about it. So now that we analyze those numbers, let's talk about it. 329,000 people got the disease in those four years of the Civil War. About 2,500 people died because of it during the Civil War. Now, in today's time that we have modern day medicine and all this whatnot and more cures, more effective cures for malaria, these look like bad numbers. These look terrible. If we were ever put in this situation of a malarial outburst and these were the numbers, we would be gone. However, back then, these numbers are considered okay because they didn't have modern day medicine. They didn't have fancy technologies and all this other stuff to put together a form of an anti-malarial, um, you know, combat to help soldiers out in a quick manner. They figured out quinine. And I feel as if, if they did figure out quinine in the beginning of the war, then these numbers would be so much higher. In the beginning of the war, it was already seen as if malaria was going to be a problem. In 1861, the private U.S. Sanitary Commission reported quinine as a prophylactic against the malarial disease. And that same commission, sanitary commission, um, diagnosed, you know, certain doses to soldiers so that they can all get better for war. Here comes a question I'm going to ask y'all before y'all vlog off this video and feel more educated because you now know about quinine and malaria. So, in the years of the Civil War, quinine was expensive. Quinine was not that easy to access if you didn't have enough money. Now, the North was able to get quinine and they also had certain alternatives for it but it wasn't as effective as quinine and the south however had little to no quinine and they always used alternatives so let me pose a question if the south had available resources for them to get quinine do you think the south would have won the war now think think about it think about it think about it i give you 15 seconds to think about it few moments later one eternity later three days later 12 seconds later 3 28 a.m 801 p.m the next day meanwhile at the crusty crack 10 seconds later okay you may need it more time for thinking so if you need to pause the video and do so go ahead and do it but for me, I think they would have not won the war. Because yes, your soldiers are still, are don't have malaria and they kind of feel okay. There were still certain infections and diseases that could have stopped them. And also, the South was just cheaper. Their weaponry was not as good as the North. The North had more expensive items and techniques. I feel that they still would have lost. The only thing they would have had was the ability to have soldiers without malaria that's it that's what i think let me know what y'all think in the comments that's just my mind process my thoughts thank you for watching my video hope you feel more educated than you did be safe love y'all